Today I want to show y'all one of my favorite plants, one of the plants that I have the most of in my nursery, and certainly a plant that I make thousands of dollars on literally every year selling these plants right here for my own home, and that is the Green Giant Arborvita. Now the Green Giant Arborvita is one of the largest evergreen trees commonly used as a screening tree that there is. Now there are natural trees like pine trees, cedar trees, that type of thing that could be more naturally used as screening trees, but a tree like the Arborvita, and I've got a couple of beds of them, these are growing in the ground, and I've got these over here, and I've got all of these over here, there's probably three or four hundred of them growing here, and these things sell really well and the reason for that is because people love to build a natural looking privacy screen or a screen or they call them screening trees or something like that to separate themselves from their neighbors now most of these that i have growing around me here are in the 18 inch to let's actually see 18 inch to that's about 24 25 inches let's check one of these smaller ones it's about 20 inches and I'd say that's a good average for this particular bed. These, I'd say they probably average two feet tall, some less, a little bit, some more, a little bit. But here's the thing that we need to see about these green giants. So as someone who's growing plants, as someone who has a nursery in his or her backyard, you always got to figure out which plants are people probably going to buy a lot of. And, and here's the way that I see it. If people are going to hate their neighbors, why not figure out a way to be the person who makes some money off of that? Let's be the ones who sell them their privacy screens. Let's be the one who helps them make their own privacy hedges. So let's take advantage of that by growing an awesome tree like the Green Giant. One of the things, as you may know if you're used to watching my videos, is that I love to propagate as many of my own plants as I can. And that's one of the great things about the Green Giant is it's relatively easy to propagate and not just easy to propagate but it's easy to propagate in large numbers so you kind of have that rare combination in a plant of ease of propagation and being able to do a lot of them and that's not a common trait found in plants so come here and take a closer look at this and this is a Green Giant that we can get lots of cuttings off of now this one this I see this one's probably I'd say it's probably close to four feet tall and it's actually right at four feet tall. And here's what I see when I look at this particular tree. Um, I see all these little, these little pieces coming up right here. So let's just say start right down here at my hands. One, two, three, four, at least five cuttings. You go down a little bit further and then there's six, seven, eight or more because some of these longer branches are multiple cuttings and some of them have quite a few cuttings per branch. And what I'm saying is, you could take a tall green giant like this, and I'm just saying this is relatively tall for my backyard nursery, and you can shred this thing down to nothing and get at least 30, maybe 50 cuttings off of one plant, maybe more than that. And yeah, you have to sacrifice a plant, but it's just one plant in order to make 20 or 30 or 50 more. So that's one of the things that I'm always looking for in a plant. First of all, I know that it's going to be a great seller, but I can propagate this easily and I can grow my own plants to take my own cuttings from. And this is just one example of how I would do that. So what I will actually do this coming winter into next spring, right now it's early fall, is just this winter when these are all dormant, I will dig all of these plants out of the ground here. All of these green giants, I will dig them and pot them. All of these that are in that two foot tall range. All of the taller ones that are in that three to four foot range, I'm gonna shred all of those to make more cuttings from. So let's just say that there's 300 of these shorter ones here. I'll be able to sell these next year, $7 a piece times 300, that's $2,100. And that's gonna be pretty accurate. These are not gonna die and all of them will sell. And then I don't know how many hundreds more of cuttings we'll be able to make just from the taller ones. And I may take cuttings from some of the shorter ones too. We've got a couple of them here that are really tall, a couple more here that are really tall. I've got some back down this way that are really tall and actually maybe take cuttings from all of those. Who knows exactly what the numbers will work out. I'm not aiming for a certain number. But that being said, this is just one place where I grow these. Also grow lots of these in pots, so you can get your numbers of green giants up really quick, and you can sell them really easily if you sell them as privacy screening trees. This is just about the size green giant that sells really, really well. This is a trade gallon pot, which is about two thirds of a gallon in size. And this tree here is probably 20 inches tall, something like that, maybe 22 inches tall, somewhere in that range. So 
this is kind of a finished product. I could sell this today. I'm going to keep it, but I could sell this today. No problem at all. But just to give you a little bit more information about exactly how to propagate these and to, what to expect in that process, I want to show you a clip from a previous video that we made back in January of this year. Now these cuttings here that I made of the Green Giants, this is just done in a dish pan. You know, you can make whatever kind of container you want, make sure it's got plenty of holes in the bottom of it for drainage. I mean, you can nail some boards together and make you a box that's shaped that way. You can use an old plastic bowl. You can use just about anything. Anything you can stick sand in and pine bark in, you can root cuttings in. And once I get them dumped out, I just start picking them out of the pile. You know, you just grab one, you give them a little shake, and they pull right out of the pile that they were propagated in. And this works really well, you know, for somebody who's just kind of doing this in their backyard nursery. You're not an expert. I'm not an expert. I'm not a professional. This works really well, and it's very, very effective. And just one after another after another, you pull these out. And I think this produced about 32 or 35 cuttings from one tray. So imagine doing five or 10 or 20 trays of these in a season, how many of these cuttings you can produce. It's really pretty amazing. And you're always going to have variation in the quality and in the size of your finished product, or at least in the quality and size of your rooted cuttings. And you can see these, the one on the left is very small, but it's very healthy. And it was just a smaller piece of cutting, smaller material. And as a result, it has smaller roots. And the one on the right is really a fantastic looking rooted cutting. You know, if I were ordering in rooted cuttings from a wholesale nursery and I got a thousand of those in on the right, I would be absolutely thrilled with roots like that. Too awesome long term. So there's no worries at all there. Just the one on the right is going to get to maturity faster than the one on the left. And then I take those cuttings and just pot them in small pots like that, or you can go ahead and pot them into a trade gallon size pot. You begin your water and your fertilization, and off they grow into a really nice, ready to sell plant in another season or two. I wanted to include that part just so you can see kind of a little bit of the process on propagation and that they're, they are easy to do and that any knucklehead can do, this, can do these in their own backyard. So I wanted you to see that, but in addition to the green giants, there's a ton of other trees and bushes that make great privacy screens that would likely work well in your area. Of course, you have trees like arborvitas, and there are many, many varieties of arborvitas, but there are also cypress, like the Leland cypress and the Murray cypress. There's a variety of holly, many num uh, any number of evergreen hollies. There are cedars, junipers, wide range of trees that you could use for screening trees, but as part of a backyard nursery, you've got to have screening trees as part of what you offer because they are so easy to propagate, so easy to grow on your own, but best of all, you can sell these things by the hundreds. This year alone, I've sold about 1,200 green giants alone, and I haven't even tried hard to do that, so just letting you know, you can do really, really well with screening trees. So guys, I hope that you are using green giants or some other screening tree in your backyard nursery. And if you're not, you need to be. Find them. Find a way to get your hands on some. Use your resources and make it happen. A must, must have tree for your backyard nursery. I appreciate y'all watching today. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one.